Hi, everybody. Master Toby Milroy here again, publisher for Martial Arts World News Magazine. And thanks so much for watching Martial Arts Business Innovations. Uh, you know, it really does help us out a lot if you click like and subscribe and maybe even hit the bell notification icon on your screen right now. Uh, you know, it does help sort of goose the YouTube and the Facebook algorithm uh, and help this uh, help this video reach more school operators who we might be able to help. So uh, please go ahead and like and subscribe and do all that stuff. Uh, hit the notification bell so that you get notified anytime we post new content. Uh, we're really uh, we're really working hard to speak with some of the most successful school operators in the, in the world uh, and bring you some of the you know the biggest innovations uh, in running a martial arts business. So uh, thanks so much. Hit the notification and bell icon and and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thanks guys. Welcome to Martial Arts Industry Innovations. Presented by Martial Arts World News Magazine. Here, you'll get the latest news and information about the martial arts industry and discover the latest tools, tactics, innovations, business systems, teaching strategies, and much more to help you grow your school, career, or martial arts business. You'll also hear from some of the most successful school owners, innovators, instructors, industry influencers, and thought leaders in the world sharing proven strategies and solutions to take your martial arts school or business to new heights. Join our mission at Martial Arts World News Magazine to raise the standards of martial arts business professionalism throughout the world. All right, welcome everybody. Uh, Master Toby Milroy here again, Vice President for AMS, and uh, joining us today is also our Executive Director, uh, Sean Lee. Uh, and today we kind of have a, a bit of a special story for you. Uh, uh, we, we came across a news, news item early this morning. Well, let me say this first. You know, w w one of the things in martial arts that's always uh, something that we talk about a lot here in the martial arts business category is, you know, utilizing free publicity and media is always a, you know, a useful way to market your school, you know, at zero cost, right? Uh, sometimes we have positive things that happen in our martial arts school. We have a, a student that maybe has uh, a challenge who over, overcomes that challenge, maybe a student that has a disability or something and they test for black belt, or we have some community event that we're doing in the community uh, that we can use in sort of a positive way uh, to help promote the school. Uh, today, uh, early yesterday, I think we, we, we saw a news story about uh, a, a school that had a bit of a challenge, right? Uh, a, 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 some instructors, a family or, uh, operated school in uh, Katy, Texas, uh, actually uh, had to kind of step in and solve a negative situation or, or intervene in a negative situation. So uh, uh, I'd like to introduce our very special guest, uh, Mr. Sam Ahn. Uh, I'm sorry, Simon Ahn. Simon Ahn from uh, in, Young In Taekwondo in uh, Katy, Texas. Uh, uh, Instructor Simon, I guess you had a bit of an exciting day uh, the other day. Uh, yes. Walk us through kind of what happened and and how this all roll how this all sort of unfolded before you guys and maybe some of the stress that that maybe caused. Yeah, uh, it was it was that Tuesday afternoon when it when we were just parking up at around I would say four o'clock, and so we, we we just came after our lunch break. We came in parked, and so that's when my dad kind of noticed in that cricket building through the see through windows that. There were two people, one, the male, the criminal, and two, the uh, a lady. And so from there, he saw them kind of hugging. And from there, he, he kind of ignored it, thinking it was horseplay or just kind of, they were like goofing around. And so he thought nothing of it. He got out of his car to where he heard a scream. And from there, he looked again, and they were doing the same thing. So he kind of was like, ah. Oh, they're playing around a little hard. And so he went to open the Taekwondo business when he heard, and not just him, all of us, the whole family, heard a second scream, which was very, very loud, high pitched. We heard it through just the walls and everything. From there, my dad just kind of looked again to see the man and the woman just not in the cricket building. And so, and then from there, he saw the employee's room all the way in the back of the building just closed. So he kind of knew it was a bad, like a bad situation. So we all just stormed into the cricket building. And my dad was, oh, when he went to open the 
employee's room, he saw the man on top of the woman with his hands over her mouth. Yikes, right? Yeah. So Fair. just trying to open the school for the day. So uh, clearly we're witnessing something that's, you know, criminal in nature, right? Clearly this isn't people playing around. Uh, what happened yes. next? From there, I mean, it was just my dad just instinctively knew that something was wrong when he saw the man on top of the woman. So the first thing he just did was just grab him by the collar of his shirt and pull him out of that room where the lady is. And he just pinned him in the corner, putting his weight on him so the man doesn't move. From there, my sister and my mother both just kind of uh, led the lady out of the cricket store and into our building to where we they comforted her, consoled her, tell her it's okay, we're here. And from there, uh, me and my younger brother was closing off the exits, making sure the man doesn't have a weapon, just making sure my dad is safe because my dad was the one holding him down with both hands. I'm just making sure that that man wasn't going to hit him or just any sort of damage to my dad. Yeah, yeah. Dangerous situation. Uh, how old is your father, by the way, if you don't mind me asking? He's 59, sir. 59, 50. yeah. So, I mean, you know, uh, you know, I mean, yeah. And, and the assailant, what do you think uh, What do you think that was? What was he's his not, sort of dimensions and age and things? So he's 19. He's around my dad's height. And I would say uh, maybe 10 pounds lighter than my dad. Wow, yeah, interesting. Interesting. Well, I mean, obviously, you know, we all of us are in the self-defense business, you know, in one way or another. Right. And I think all of us would agree that, you know, no one. It's the people who know the most about violence who want the least to do with it. You know what I mean? Like we know how dangerous these types of situations are. You don't know what this guy has. You don't know if he's got a knife, a gun, a club. You, you, when, you're, when you're entering a situation like this, you have no idea really what you're getting into. And it could very well be life or death in an instant. You just don't know, right? So I mean, uh, uh, pr pretty amazing uh, and inspiring to see, you know, people sort of take their civic responsibility pretty you know seriously and say hey listen we need to do something about this right uh, so i imagine you've gotten a fair bit of uh media coverage so far we had we saw the article on uh, i think an abc affiliate out in katie um what's that experience been like what 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 how's all that been for you guys man uh just all the the publicity we've been getting is is just it, it's kind of spread like wildfire we kind of didn't we kind of didn't expect it because we were just doing the right thing at the right time. So we kind of didn't expect news stations and high like organizations just contacting us and wanting the story. Yeah, it, it, I mean, you know, it, it, on the news, really, especially broadcast media, let's call it legacy media, I guess now probably is probably the, the most, you know, accurate way to think about it. Really, there's two criteria for them, right? It's, it's, you know, well, like they say, if it bleeds, it leads, right? So anything that has to do with the worst things that happen for the day, uh, that's usually what, what gets their attention. And the second element are these human interest stories, right? This sort of could be actually both, right? It's both criminal and some human interest. So really these types of stories that make people feel good, that make people want to, want to tune into the news, that, you know, that uh, kind of get that type of a story out there are pretty useful for them too. It gets clicks, it gets people to, you know, watch the news and things like that. Do you feel like you're getting crushed under the tremendous weight of managing your martial arts school? Crawl out from beneath the burden and reach your potential. Lighten the load and let Atlas Martial Arts Software do the heavy lifting. Visit tryatlassoftware.com to see for yourself and get seven free gifts valued at over $400. As I started working with Harry and friends, boy, my complete 180, much better than I could deliver by just by myself. Much better content. Well, Harry is a godsend. Harry is like a, a virtual staff member. The kids are just more excited. When it's time to do the mat chat, a lot of times it used to be verbal, but now we have the visual. Right. And they can relate to this guy. We have been a long time Harry and friends customer with our little ninjas going on, we think around 10 years now. So how many schools do you guys have that are using Harry and Friends? Five. Five schools. 
Excellent. And how do the kids react? How do the parents react? Harry is a big part of our We Warriors program. Kids love him. He, they will do things that he says that won't do if we tell them to, and they definitely won't do it if their parents tell them to. Makes the parents a little jealous, but they love him too. Check it out, guys. You got to do Harry and Friends. Okay, everybody. Where is Harry today? This great. At Martial Arts. Check out the latest issue of Martial Arts World News Magazine, the industry trade journal for martial arts school owners and instructors at mawnews.com. And now, back to our show. Um, have, you, have, you, have you made any uh, uh, revolutions after the, the sort of onslaught of media initially? Um, are, you, is there, are there any ways that you want to try to leverage this? Are we talking about maybe doing some self-defense uh, courses over the next few weeks or anything like that? What are, what are, what are we thinking? How do we think we can uh, you know, make, lemon, uh, make lemonade out of lemons here? Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, since it happened this week, we really, <laughs> we, you know, we really didn't discuss it, but... Uh, I mean, we are we are open to those ideas. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's you know, it's one of those scenarios where you don't want to be, you know, you don't want to be sort of uh, trying to leverage a tragedy, right, to be sure. But oh. in this case, I mean, this is a really positive story, and I think it's really inspiring. You know, you know, unfortunately, right, we all know this. Unfortunately for our audience, for school operators and business owners all over the country, we all know that unfortunately uh, – some proportion of of martial arts schools or martial artists that make it into the news not always very positive right <laughs> unfortunately there's a segment of that that's just not yeah. positive so when positive things like this happen i think it's a really good idea uh that we you know that we leverage it and that we try to you know maximize that opportunity and and certainly you know with what you guys did the the just the human character aspect of this right we're not going to stand by and let something like this happen not on our block not on our not on our watch right i think that's awesome I, it just it's it's really cool really inspiring it's, it's great to uh uh you know have those kind of stories hit the news you know so thank you guys so much for that we really appreciate it thank the family for me if you wouldn't mind right yes sir very, very well done very well done so so tell us a little bit about the school so you guys are again Yongin uh taekwondo in Katy, texas um, yes. Tell us a little bit about the school, sure. what it looks like, this, what, what are the students like, what are your, what types of, uh, like what structure, what, what kind of values are you teaching in the school, what does that all kind of look like for you guys? Yes, so uh, the school started in 2007 when my dad uh, was in uh, Cyprus, just relatively close to the current school. He started in 2007 and moved to Katy in... I would say 2016, 2017 in that time. And from there, we just held the business down for 17 years, sir. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and it's a whole family affair, right? W walk us through that again. It's the whole crew who, who all uh, helps facilitate the school. Yes, sir. Even, even, oh. the, Mrs., even the Mrs. An is teaching class. Is that, is that right? Uh, Mrs. Your, your mother? Mrs. So, yes, Master On, Mrs. On is the one uh, dealing with the finances and helping customers come in and kind of navigate the little kids in, in the right spots or maybe if they're doing wrong kicks as well. And so who, who else is in the school? Yeah, who else is part of the school? Yeah, yeah. Sir. So my dad is the grandmaster that owns the building and my sister is an instructor. I am also an instructor and my younger brother is also an instructor with my mom being an instructor as well. But she doesn't really teach class because she's not very uh, fluent in English. So she just kind of deals with the little kids and tell them to go in the right spots. And yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's always useful, right? Like it, it, it's some people don't get this, by the way, this is totally a tangent, but, but some people don't get this by the way, which is, you know, who really do you want teaching like the tiny tigers? Like who is the best instructor for that? And, and we, you know, it's hard for people to get their head around it sometimes, but you, oftentimes it's not the, you know, six foot seven towering uh, ninth degree black belt grandmaster instructor, <laughs> right? That's that's oftentimes not the best experience. Usually, who knows? 
<laughs> for the new four-year-old coming into classes and and, and right. you know truthfully for the parents too they're kind of like oh my gosh what are we you know what are we doing here so uh yeah very cool very cool well anyway listen so i i really appreciate you joining us it was it was great to jump on with you guys i'm so i'm so happy that everything turned out well um uh you know there is we do have a colleague uh uh, Master Karen Eden out in, uh, she's out in Colorado. Actually, she's on the East Coast now. She's over here now, North Carolina now. Um, I'm going to put you in touch with her. Uh, there's no, uh, uh, she's, she was a reporter for the news for many years, and she's been a media agent for uh, franchise schools that we've run and, 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 and just a really big support for things like that. Um, I'd like you to talk to her. Uh, she can help just give you at least a little bit of guidance in, uh, some of the things that you want to be a little careful about, you know, uh, uh, if, if you're going to talk to any more media or if you have other media uh, that might contact you, uh, really val really useful, really super sweetheart. She's like a great contributor to the magazine and been a great tr contributor and partner for us for years and years and years. So I'd love to, you know, kind of extend that resource to you and give you some, some, you know, some, uh, she'd be able to give you some really sage advice about, about how to maybe help with this whole situation. But um, other than that, I, I really appreciate it. Uh, uh, Mr. Ron, I really appreciate your time and, and energy, and uh, I think you're a great inspiration for the martial arts for all of us uh, uh, operators out there and all the students. So we're going to share this story with as many people as we can. Yes, sir. Thank you. It has been an honor to be on this uh, uh, platform. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank Sean, you, sir. Sean, thank you, sir. Appreciate the time, guys. Thanks, everybody, so much. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll be back uh, really soon. Keep, keep an eye on the Martial Arts World News Facebook page uh, for more updates and uh, uh, interviews. Right? Thanks, everybody. This has been a Martial Arts Industry Innovations production presented by Martial Arts World News Magazine.